coil support through which they'll later thread the filament. They take a glass rod 11 millimeters long and heat it up enough to insert a pin just 28 one hundredths of a millimeter thick. The pin is made of tungsten, a hard metal that won't melt under high heat. The rod and pin go into a machine that heats the glass and presses it into a mushroom shape. Then they insert tungsten wires, just 0 0.0118 millimeters thick, three or six wires depending on the model of the light bulb. They cut the wires to the required length, which also depends on the model. Then they curl the ends into little circles. The coil support is finished. Next, they build the mount onto which several other parts will be assembled. They weld on the arc tube, a quartz tube containing a coil, electrodes, gas and mercury. Next, they weld on the bimetal switch, which cuts the current to the coil in the arc tube. Then they weld on the coil support they prepared earlier. They bend the coil support down to receive the filament, which is made of tungsten. Now they weld one end of the filament to the mount and feed the other end through the little circles of the coil support, then weld it onto the other side of the mount. The mount is now fully assembled. Next, they apply a specific amount of pressure to the bimetal switch to calibrate it. They submerge the finished mount in alcohol to remove any dust or other contaminants. They let it dry for 10 minutes, then apply a liquid called zirconium getter. This draws moisture away from the filament. It's finally time to put the mount in the glass bulb. The sealing machine cuts off excess glass from the bottom, then melts what's left until it attaches to the mount. How will this light bulb work? The electric current travels through the filament to the coil inside the arc tube. The coil warms gases, which then vaporize the small amount of mercury. The mercury vapor then conducts the current from one electrode to another, creating light. The bulbs are made into different shapes and sizes. A machine blows air into the hot glass while a mold creates the form. A special flame lets the glass cool slowly so it won't become brittle from the stress. They print the wattage and voltage on the bulbs, then run them through an oven at 500 degrees Celsius to draw out any humidity or impurities that may be caught inside. Then they go through what's called the tipping torch. It seals in nitrogen gas, which prevents the filament from overheating. Now the bulb is ready for its first test, a 10 minute burn to make sure it operates properly and there's no air inside. Finally, it's time to attach the socket. They apply cement on the base, then hook up the bulb. The bulb passes through a flame that cures the cement. The next machine cleans the socket with acid, so it can be soldered at two points. The finished bulbs are put aside for 48 hours, then retested before being shipped out.